Friday. Um, I thought I'd, I know you want to go out in a second. I thought I would speak to you quickly before I press cut on my cricket again. I've been, I've done stock take today in the station first. I've wrote down all the stickers um, that I currently have, how many I've got of each one, um, and how many, like, so I know how many more I need to do. The purple is the ones I don't need to do any more of. <laughs> so there's a lot on there. Um, I have got, yeah. I've got through a little pile that I printed. Um, yeah. <laughs> in a second. Um, I got through a pile that I printed. Um, I'm getting my way th through a pile that I printed um, on Tuesday. So I've got um, a couple more of those to do. The ones that I knew that I needed, that I was short of. But I've needed to do a stock check on stickers and stuff for ages anyway. So... I'm glad I've done that and I know where I'm at. I'm going to priority, prioritise the stickers that I think will sell a bit better and the ones that are lower of stock out of those ones because I'm not sure if I've got enough sticker paper to do as many as I would like but as long as I've got some of all of them, that's my goal anyway. <laughs> um, so I'm going to do the sunflower stickers next, they are next on the agenda and then I've got some retro flowers ones and then I think I'm through the pile then and then I've just printed as well um, some of the die cut stickers ready to go um, so I've got some of these um, and then I need to add some glitter onto the dino ones the ones and organised all of these as well yeah, some of them I'd got quite a few still from when I printed loads for the festive gift fair and some that didn't sell as well. I printed a ridiculous amount of some really. But that's fine because I've still got loads, I've still got some that I can instantly tick off. So that's less to do for stationery fest. But there is just a week to go. Um, just a week to go now so I've got a lot to do still I'm going to do a stock take of all my notepads and write that down on here as well um, I'm going to take him out first though because he's desperate to go out he's just been knocking at the door handle so I'm going to take him out while these or check the crickets behaving um, after a press cut and then I'll take him out and then I'll do a notepad stock take I've got a lot my cricket will be quite a rest <laughs> after stationary vest but then I should be all stocked up um, then hopefully um, unless it sells out which is also an amazing <laughs> that that option is fine too <laughs> um, yeah I really don't know what to expect because it is a, a big event for how niche it is because um, I've obviously I've had events with more footfall, um, like the Com Wales Comic Con has got loads of people, Festive Gift Fair had loads of people. Um, I need to plan out my stall as well because I want to make the best of the space. Um, I think me and Nath are going to go up on the Friday um, to lay it out ready so I'm not as stressed because there's not a lot of time on the Saturday morning to get that done. So. Yeah, I think that's the plan for now, but right, I'm going to take him out before he starts the buses. I'm sorry, but how soft a sign is this? I wasn't filming. <laughs> but I've just done, got the last sticker off the sheet for my bags, and it's the last bag. That never happens. Oh. Put stickers on all of my bags, ready for stationery fest. I'm hoping I've got enough bags, because that's all I've got. I have got that many. <laughs> I'm hoping that's enough. 
46. So um, that should be that should be plenty. That should be plenty. So I've got those bags prepped and ready. I need I've got bookmarks in here. I need to do some more tassels on some of these. So I need to add that to the to do list as well. Yes, hello, happy Monday. I've just wanted to get some noisy cricket jobs done at first before I spoke to you. I've done a uh, designed a poster as well for my Kickstarter because I've got backing boards at Station Me Fest. So I'm gonna I've done a poster with a QR code of my takes you straight to my Kickstarter. So hopefully we can get some last minute backers on my Kickstarter too because at the weekend we unlocked a washi um and then someone's cancelled the pledge so it's two pounds under at the minute so i haven't mentioned anything on social media yet um but i will do um i'll do some stories i've got a real part edited of making did i show you i don't know if i just filmed it for the reel but i've made the sample of the glitter Furby sticker that is free um free for all pledges of six washes or more but then i've also added it as an add-on so if you haven't ordered pledged for six washes or more you can add it um yeah for just two pounds with no postage because obviously you've already pledged for the postage and it doesn't weigh it's not like a notepad that needs a, a little bit extra for the postage cost so yeah he's so cute and sparkly just gone through my list as well and done put a little dot by the ones that I want to prioritise sticker sheet wise to get them done because time's ticking on and I need <laughs> and it's stressing me out a bit so I thought if I'm put put like prioritise certain ones and then any that I get to do over that is a bonus um because there's no way I'll get through this whole list of how I'm, I no there's no chance there's no way I, it's not gonna happen it's it's not going to happen. I'm not going to get every single sticker sheet to a to a higher level, so um, quantity wise. So I'm just prioritising some, and then once they're done, then I'll cross them off, and then I can do some dots by some others. I've done some backing sheets for some of the stickers as well, some that I've already printed. Um, they just need they're in here, ready to be on to the backing sheets so that could be an evening job i can watch telly watch youtube at home and sit on the sofa and just stick those on progress has been made um i've just done a stock take of all my notepads that are were in my market box or um were ready packaged in the drawer there's one uh, cut this one and the floral sunset um a5 weekly planner that there is only one of each of. There's only a couple of sharkies and they're all in there. The only ones I've got extras of that I haven't got in here at the minute is the confetti to-do list. So I'm going to add a couple more of those because there's only three of those in there. Um, there's some that need uh, packaging stickers there on here, ready to do. That's all of those gold digger ones, all of the power ones. And then there's a few more new ones there which makes it fab. And my package, I have got some more of the new ones um, and the Secura ones. So I might put in a couple of extra of those in. Um, I really don't know how many to take. But I think this box is obviously gets very heavy because it has all the notepads in. And then I'm going to put the tray that the washies will go in as well. Um, but yeah. So I think if this box is full, I'm going to make it so it's full with the notepads and everything. Um, as long as the washi fits on top, then yeah, I'll take as many as I can fit in the box, I think. Because I, I would rather take too many and bring some back than sell out knowing that I've got some here. Um, I mean, that would be a nice problem to have, to sell out of a notepad. But yeah, I really, I really don't know. It was really hard when it's the... It's the first time they've done a stationary fest too. Yeah, how to, hard to know how well sales will go. But I think I'm going to take more with the to bring it back than not take enough is my plan, I think. 
Hello, it is nearly home time on Monday um, and I've, what I've decided is I was trying to find some, you know they're like the sweetie bags that have normally got stripes on them but the pink ones are like this kind of pink, like bright cerise pink instead of like a pastel. I was trying to find some peachy coloured ones and they're just like, you can't get a a striped one or a plainish one it's all the a lot more expensive um just to get a peach one so i thought that was a bit ridiculous so what i'm gonna do is as some of these envelopes you can probably see it, these ones are a little bit um see-through so when you put the card in you can see so the pale ones like the pale pink i'm going to use them as um sorry moving your back everywhere i'm going to use them as um a mis the, some mystery packs so i think there's 15 envelopes here so i'm going to do some mystery packs of second sticker sheets <laughs> seconds sticker sheets because i thought i can print something onto this um i can print onto this rather than having a sticker on it as well so i can print onto them and then make up the packs i'm going to do that tomorrow so just getting those ready i've got my little homework basket um, so I've got um, a load of bookmarks at the side there that need um, the tassels on and I've also got the stickers under there as well. Um, stickers and backing the over there. So I'm going to do them tonight. Um, yeah, I'm going to sit and chill um, and do those tonight. So yeah, I will speak to you tomorrow. So I've just done this um, and then I realised it says mystery sticker packs and there's only one pack in it um, and I've just rearranged, the, I've just amended the colour a bit as well as the wording slightly so it's now looks like that on screen but what I didn't think about is that it's printed onto pink not onto white so the colours are coming out darker so I've done it like that's better. Can you tell? That's a different colour, I promise. <laughs> it's a bit more pink rather than that's a bit more orangey tone. So, oh no, it's got black smudges on it. I might cancel the print and then just do um, a head clean on that. But yeah, um, I might put that one towards the back because it's only the packaging, but I still don't want it to look like this. So I just thought it'd be easier than having stickers on them. I could just print straight on the envelopes, but if it keeps doing that, then I might have to make a, a sticker instead to go on, but it's just extra work to do a sticker. So hopefully this doesn't keep doing this.
Okay, so I think I am actually semi-organized for stationary fast now. Um, I'm just making up here, I'm just making up some of the uh, bags. I'm going to just put in a business card and a free sticker in all the bags ready. So that's one last thing to do on the day. Um, but yeah, I think, I think I'm about sorted now. Um, ideally I'd have more stickers and stuff done but yeah I'm running out of sticker paper and I'm running out of time so I highly overestimated how many sticker packs st second sticker packs I would be able to, to make up which is what I'm doing here Um, I don't know what got into me to think that I could do 10 to 15 packs that's 100 to 150 stickers second stickers I haven't got that many <laughs> I was never gonna have that many um because the cricket's been behaving the most of the time recently some of them are not seconds they're just on the old backing designs um but yeah I hadn't got that many <laughs> second sticker sheets so I managed to make up six packs with 10 sticker sheets in each one um they are going to station me first, but then if I've got any left after that, they will be going on my website. But I'm really happy with how they look in the envelope, with a printed envelope. I was happy with how they turned out in the end. That's all for this week, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next week, where we'll be going to station me first. Okay, bye!